So I just celebrated my 17th birthday, so happy birthday to me. Yay! So with that all being said, I decided to give you my top 10 favorite movies of all time with a few honorable mentions. So let's start talking favorites. Hi, my name is Joe Marco of Marco's Movies, helping you learn more, know more, and talk more about movies. On this channel, I rate, review, and I rate movies, so if you enjoy this video, please consider clicking that subscribe button, and make sure you go ahead and comment down below your top 10, top 15, top 20 favorite movies of all time. Now, these aren't necessarily the movies we think are the best, or these aren't necessarily the list we would give to our freaking film teachers, but these are just our favorite movies. If I only had to be able to keep 10 movies to watch for the rest of my life, these were the 10 that I would pick, and these... From 6 to 10, they really fluctuate a lot with the honorable mentions, depending on what I just watched. But let's go ahead and get started with number 10. Logan, in my opinion, is the most badass X-Men and most depressing Marvel film of all time, and is my 10th favorite movie of all time, and for good reason. This movie will make you freaking cry, and then make you get antsy and jump up as you see in Hugh Jackman, aka Wolverine, stick his claws up someone's face, and push him out so that guy's dead. And this movie's rated R, and it uses that rated R for its action scenes. There's so much blood and gore, but just enough to satisfy you. It's not overly over the top blood everywhere, but it's enough that it makes you satisfied. It makes you, it just makes you happy the amount of blood that you use, I guess you could say. And just, just seeing Wolverine and the state he is in his career, and obviously Professor X and his state, and how he's dealing with that problem, and how Wolverine's dealing with Professor X's problem, trying to help him as he's sneaking drugs to help Professor X, he's just depressed, he doesn't know where he is in life, and he doesn't even know if X-Men are generally heroes, and it's just one of the most badass Marvel films of all time, and, and it's my favorite X-Men film of all time, spoiler alert. Robert Zemeckis' Back to the Future is by far the funniest movie on this list, and maybe the, my most, my second most rewatched movie on this list, and my god, I just watched this movie a month ago for the first time, and I've watched it at least two to three times every week since. I can't get enough of Back to the Future. Now, I was debating putting Back to the Future 2 over this, as in my opinion, they're just about equal, but what puts this one over the top for me is just the weird incest shit that goes on, and how... How Robert Zemeckis was able to hide that weird shit, the incest and all the stuff and all, you know, a guy, a girl almost getting raped, he hides it because it's such a good movie, you don't even notice that. So you're literally laughing at this girl almost getting raped. If you haven't seen it, you would understand what I mean, but if you haven't, I just sound like a weirdo. And this movie, it's just so much fun seeing Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox just go out and have fun. It's one of those movies that no one else could play these characters. Now, I do want to see them remake this movie in the future with, like, Tom Holland. And I don't know who would replace Christopher Lloyd. But I think Tom Holland would be a great replacement for Michael J. Fox. But this was just one of those movies that revolutionized movies. And it's just so much fun. And it's so rewatchable for me. Goodfellas is by far my favorite Martin Scorsese film of all time and it's just so much fun seeing Ray Liotta go through just his whole life go through your eyes and how literally half of the movie is focused on one specific day and these characters are so much fun. I think this was Martin Scorsese's peak film. I don't think it got better than this. I think he was at the biggest peak and highest high of his career and it's funny it's kind of just stayed like this it hasn't really gone down that peak except Irishman went down a little bit but yeah I absolutely adore Goodfellas I also just watched this for the first time about four or five months ago and I've watched it like four times since and every single time I watch it I find a new favorite line that I just use all the time and it's just one of those movies that it's it's a movie you have to watch at least once before you die now I do know a couple people who prefer Casino I'm sorry, but you guys are idiots. No offense. I love you guys still. It's just, Goodfellas, in my opinion, is just on a whole nother level. And it's the best mob boss film of all time. And like I said, my favorite Martin Scorsese movie of all time. Now, it's going to sound weird me saying this when you see some of the movies later on this list. But Predator is my favorite by far action movie of all time. If I only had to have one action movie for the rest of my life... This will be the one I would keep with me because I think it's the most rewatchable and easy to watch action film while being so badass. You get all the one-liners you want from Arnold. You get Carl Weathers being a badass. You have such an amazing cast of characters. Put them all together and have a creepy-ass psycho predator coming after them that's 7,000 feet tall. It makes Arnold look like a little bitch. 
you have the perfect movie. You have the perfect action movie. Now, the plot is simplistic enough, but these characters drive the plot up. And one thing that I've seen a couple people say is this is this doesn't really feel like an Arnold Schwarzenegger film. It, f it feels like a genuine movie because a lot of movies, even Terminator, you think as the Arnold Schwarzenegger films because he by far just carries those films a lot of the time, like Terminator, Terminator 2. He's a big focal part as well as Linda Hamilton. But in this movie, you have all these people together and they all kind of just lift each other up. And obviously the ending sequences, what Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Predator. There's a Funko Pop I want to get where Arnold Schwarzenegger is just covered in mud. And it, it's just... So it's just such a fun action movie for me, and it's by far my most rewatched action movie of all time. And like I just told you, it's my favorite action movie of all time. Pulp Fiction comes from my favorite director of all time, Quentin Tarantino, and sadly is the only film on this list. And like I said, this is my favorite Quentin Tarantino film of all time. It spiced up the whole genre of just movies in general. And movies are not a genre, I'm sorry. But just spiced up movies as they were starting to get told out of order. And it's inspired so many filmmakers like Christopher Nolan to start telling their stories out of or ordinary. Out of order, I mean, I'm sorry. And it's just so much fun. And like I said, like I said with Predator, the characters uplift this story as what they do with most Quentin Tarantino films. You have a simplistic story... But the characters, Jules, Marcellus, they all just, boom, fly it up into the sky. It's, it's probably the most fun I have with a movie on this entire list. And this is, this is almost a three-hour movie. And I gotta say, this movie goes by in about an hour for me. And I absolutely adore Pulp Fiction. And is the one Quentin Tarantino film I would want to take with me if I can only choose one. Like I said with Predator when I said it's my favorite action movie of all time but it's gonna sound weird me saying that later on this list because Terminator 2 is ahead of it I'm sorry Terminator 2 is a better movie than Predator I prefer Predator a tiny bit but I would rather have Terminator 2 I think than Predator first of all I think it's one of the most revolutionary films on this entire list it revolutionized the whole genre of movies and just it just it did so much for movies we have today. Obviously, the first Terminator was sort of thriller horror action movie, but then James Cameron just spiced it up and made an action, almost buddy cop esque film with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the little kid in the movie, and it's just so much fun to watch. Now, I've only seen this movie three times in my life, and it gets better as I rewatch it. And I, every time I have to pick an action movie, Terminator Two is always the first one I look at, and I'm like. That's one option. Every time I have to pick an action movie, Terminator 2 is always an option. There's times where Predator isn't even always an option. Actually, it is because Predator is my favorite. But this and Predator and Terminator 2 are so equal for me. But I think if I can only keep five as we're in my top five, I would prefer having Terminator 2 over Predator. Before I get into American Psycho, I just want to give a shout out to my sister and my... Uh, brother-in-law for getting me this sick American Psycho Funko Pop. This is so sick. Beautiful Patrick Bateman with his squinty eyes. But anyway, getting back to American Psycho, my fourth favorite movie of all time. This movie was in talks to being my favorite movie of all time. And honestly, in a couple years from now, this might be my favorite movie of all time. I watched this movie two months ago. Get this, I've watched it 15 times since. Every time I watch this movie, new favorite line, new favorite scene. Every single scene you could say is your favorite, and I would understand, because I've, I've never laughed so hard watching a movie and had so much fun. First of all, I'm going to say this now, Christian Bale's my favorite actor of all time, and this will not be the last of his movies on this list. And he just gives one of the best performances of his whole career. You buy him as Patrick Bateman, this sort of jacked, not low life, this jacked, high-end, Wall Street working guy who, he hates his job, but he just wants to fit in. And I just have so much fun with this movie, and... Honestly, of all the movies on this list, it's going to sound weird. If I could only keep one, I'd probably keep American Psycho, even though it's only at my fourth position. Like I said, American Psycho will not be the last film you will see on this list of Christian Bales, as we're into Batman Begins. And you can throw in The Dark Knight, but Batman Begins is my third favorite film of all time. The Dark Knight would be around my 10th or 11th position. But Batman Begins, why I prefer it over The Dark Knight? Because we get the origin story of how the badass Batman becomes the sick vigilante. Because if you think about it, 
It's kind of weird to imagine a guy dressing up as a bat to go fight crime. You kind of want to know how that happened. I don't know what... One second. Sorry about that, I got scared shitless by my laptop. But like I was saying about Batman Begins, you get the origin story of how this sick vigilante becomes Batman, and I just love seeing it. First of all, the amount of motivational scenes you get from this movie, when he's in the Batcave, and he's up, and you have the Hans Zimmer score. Oh, it's so badass, and it makes me get so amped. And every time I see that scene, or I'm going to the gym, I play Molossus. I've almost gone into about 2,000 accidents because of it, but I can't help myself. It's such a badass song. And honestly, this might be the best movie score in this entire list. Maybe. There's so many iconic movie scores in this list. But God, I just, I love Batman Begins. It's by far my favorite Batman film of all time. And Batman is my favorite movie character or just non-fiction character of all time. And just, I don't know, he's so badass. And just seeing how, where he's come from. And the villain, Cillian Murphy as Scarecrow and Liam Neeson give great performances. They were excellent villains. I don't care what you said. Yes, they're not Tom Hardy and Heath Ledger, but they weren't working with Bane and Joker. It was Ra's al Ghul and Scarecrow, more B-tier level Batman villains. And they still exceeded that with great performances to make them A-tier. And You can't hold back what they gave because of the iconicity of Heath Ledger and Tom Hardy as Bane. And Batman Begins, I just love Batman Begins. It's my favorite comic book movie of all time. <laughs> Indiana Jones is one of two trilogies that I watched as a kid with my dad and this was like the main three movies I watched with my dad. These were like our movies and Raiders of the Lost Ark is my favorite of that trilogy and Temple of Doom is actually a close second and Last Crusade is a close third. You could put all three of these movies on the list because I think I enjoy them and would give them all 100% ratings because I think genuinely they're all masterpiece of masterfully crafted movies. First of all, Harrison Ford is the only actor who has been able to pull off Two iconic characters in Han Solo and Indiana Jones, and yet you see Indiana Jones and Han Solo, not Harrison Ford. He's given two of the most iconic characters of all time, and you don't see how you don't see Harrison Ford. You see those characters, and he's um he's a top three actor for me, top five actor for me of all time, just because of that. And he just he's so amazing in these films. Obviously, he gets different girlfriends in all these films. But Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's the best adventure film of all time. This is a film that I cannot wait to show my children when, well, when I have children and I'm older. And this is just this is one of this might be my favorite trilogy of movies of all time. If I was able to only take one, this would be the trilogy I would take. And yeah, I just love Raiders of the Lost Ark and specifically Indiana Jones. Now, last um, not Last Crusade, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is a top 2 billion movie of all time for me. Probably at 1,999,000. But Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom and Last Crusade are both all tied for my second position. But before I give you my number one pick for my favorite movie of all time, I'm going to throw you some honorable mentions that I was so close to putting on this list but couldn't. First off is Sylvester Stallone's Rocky. This is like my 11th favorite movie of all time. This was so close to making the list, but I just enjoyed Logan a little bit more. Next, we have Casino Royale, my favorite James Bond film of all time. Daniel Craig is a straight-up badass and is a top... I think I put him... He was my 10th most badass movie character of all time. And I love Casino Royale. I think... You could say it's the best action movie of all time besides Terminator 2. Point Break is honestly my most underrated action movie of all time, and it's it kills me. I feel like I'm having Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze have guns on my head, and it's killing me not having it on this list, because I love Point Break. It's so amazing. The lines, the freaking buddy cop kind of style, but it's not a buddy cop because of what happens at the end. It's, it's such a fun action movie. You got Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze surfing on surfboards and bank robberies, and a CIA agent so it's amazing movie and my last honorable mention is going to go to aliens now alien was really close to you could also say is better than aliens i prefer aliens a little more i'm more of an action movie guy than a sci-fi thriller type of guy and what james cameron did with aliens and this isn't going to be and i you saw james cameron had a couple films on this well, one film on this list i i just love aliens i think he exceeded what the first one did and he brought so much fun to this with all these soldiers going against all these alien life forms. But let's actually get to my number one pick. Empire Strikes Back and A New Hope. Now, Return of the Jedi, I'm going to say this right now. That is an AA- film, but it's not, I think, on the level of the other two. There's things that actually bother me about The Last Jedi and even A New Hope. I don't think it's a perfect movie, 
but Empire Strikes Back, this is one of, I think, five movies that I would give a rating higher than an A+. This is just, I think, the most revolutionary film on this entire list. This just exceeded the sci-fi genre, it exceeded what the first one did, it crunk, crunk it up a notch and exploded. Now, when this first came out, this wasn't received that well. People didn't know how to take the huge movie twist at the end of, no, I am your father. No one knew how to take it, but when I first watched it, I took it, I grabbed it, I cried, and then I watched it again because my eight-year-old self was weird. And this was, Star Wars has honestly, from 8 to 12 years old was like my whole life. I watched everything Star Wars. I read Star Wars books. And this was my favorite movie of the entire Star Wars saga. It's a saga. This movie, in my opinion. Now, the first one was iconic and revolutionary. But this one, I think, is just the building block for the entire saga. And is the reason we have it. Because one movie can't build a saga. A great trilogy of movies can build a great saga. And... Empire Strikes Back, man, it is my favorite movie of all time. But thank you guys all for watching my video of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. Like I said, make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below your list for your top 10 favorite movies of all time. Or 15 or 20, whatever you guys want to do. You don't have to put them in order like I had to do. But as always, keep watching movies.